Hey, Kathy Owen here, and to welcome to my video series on this time of quarantine. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about media and conspiracy theories. Yeah, there's a lot of that going on right now, and it's easily accessible because of the way our world is nowadays. It's like this virus came up at the perfect time for so many reasons and so many different things, but yeah. To me, if I read a conspiracy theory, if I read a news story, if I hear anything that remotely gives me an iota of fear, I reevaluate that. With Neville Goddard's pruning shears of revision, and I think about what does that really mean? Where can I find peace? because that's not bringing me peace. Today, my friend Renee put up a video about media and I'm gonna put a link in the description below because it's very on point. And she put in there, uh, she said something about, I was laughing so hard because she said, yeah, at the end of all this, I don't wanna be in a fit fetal position laying on the floor when the world comes back and you know, we get, that, that's what the media wants. They want you, they want your energy. It's a pendulum, it's just a pendulum and it wants your energy. Are you gonna give it to it? No, don't, don't, don't go to the dark side. <laughs> There are so many other things you could be thinking about. Limit your time on media. Limit your time spent looking at that kind of stuff because otherwise it will drive you crazy. I, I'm actually worried about a person that I'm close to because she watches the news all the time. And now she's in her home and she's scared to even go outside. And I worry about her mental health because that's not good. But this person, whenever she, she watches the news all the time, she gets these alerts and she'll tell me things like, we'll be hanging out and she'll go, did you hear about that little boy that got run over by a car? And I'm like, uh, no, I don't watch the news. And she proceeds to tell me every detail about it. And it's so irritating because it's like, why do I want to put that in my mind? Number one, I don't know those people. I, I, I don't know them. I'm not involved in the circumstances. Why am I going to put my energy into that? If it was my child or my story or my circumstance, even then I would not talk about it. I would not bring it to other people's attention because I'm not going to put that into their world. That's just not the way I operate. On Facebook, it's probably one of the worst places because I have a lot of friends and I'm sure we all do. They post stories that are going on in the news and they've done this for a long time. Like uh, there's a child that was molested and killed and oh murdered and they talk about how much they hate the guy that did it. But do you know him? Uh, it, 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 why are you putting that in my news feed? I, I so want to, um, you know, they say, well, just unfollow them. No, because I love that person and I, I don't want to unfollow them. But then again, I do, and I, I, I hope maybe my video will reach these people and they'll second think before they put that shit on Facebook or anywhere. Why don't you think about what you're putting into the world instead of what is gonna happen to you? You don't know, you don't know. And then my philosophy has always been, if I if I get there and I get whatever everybody's afraid of, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But right now I ain't putting that in my head. I'm not, and I ask you not to as well, because it's so, it, it'll make you sick. It'll make you more sick than the damn virus. So 
why don't you focus on something positive? I flood my mind with positive stuff. I start my day off with that. I listen to Abraham videos. I listen to, that's Abraham Hicks. I'll put a link in the description below. I listen to um, Reality Revolution podcasts. I listen to Joseph Rodriguez. I listen to Aaron Doty. And that's where I want to flood my mind with. Do I, Am I aware of what's going on? Absolutely. Am I um, acknowledging? I'm, I, I'm not high, putting my head in the sand. I'm very aware and I'm very um, conscious of what's going on. But at the same time, I choose not to go there all the time. Because like Renee said in her video, when this is all done, I'm not going to be in the fetal position all scared and shaking half to death because the world is going to end and then it comes back. And I wouldn't say it's coming back to normal because it's not. It's going to be better. And that's the way I look at my reality. How are you looking at your reality? It's up to you. It's your choice. Remember, like I said, being a victim or being a victimizer, that's your choice. Let's live in Victor. Let's get this home. We got it. Until tomorrow, peace out and namaste.